Hi, I'm Russell Sturgis. I'm the founder and the principal of EAP Mentor. Welcome to uh, the latest blog in the series that I'm doing on creating sustainable change. And this blog is looking at step two. So in the last blog, we looked at step one, which was about um, um, having change in an element of consciousness, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, be sustain, um, be of value. So we re really were looking at this, this whole idea that um, unless it's something that you value, you're not going to put your time or effort into it. So we sort of looked at that. This um, particular um, step, which is step number two in a six step series, um, is about learning more about the pros and cons of a particular aspect of whatever the element is that, that you're working on. And, um, and this, um, all six steps are really important, but this is a particularly important one because um, this is foundational to the practice of mindfulness, particularly from the Western perspective. So let me just give you some, some clarification about that. So the, the Western perspective on mindfulness is remembering that you have a choice to be kinder uh, to yourself, to others and to the planet. <laughs> so the key word here, well there's two, um, well there's a few, but, but, but in terms of the context of what we're talking about, it's re remembering, and, and here's the important word, that you have a choice. So if mindfulness is about holding the awareness of choice, then it means that there first has to be knowledge or context for which um, a choice becomes possible. And so if, for example, all you know is what you've been programmed and you don't know anything else, then there is no choice. And so therefore it's actually impossible to act mindfully when you don't actually have new information, knowledge and understanding that gives you a different perspective from which you're able to make a choice. So when this second step is learning more about the pros and the cons, um, what this is doing is, is um, giving you um, suggestions and tools about how to expand your knowledge and understanding. Because really what happens is, as you gather more knowledge and understanding about a particular aspect of human consciousness, um, <coughs> you're able to then gather whether or not, <coughs> excuse me, that expanded understanding has the capacity to be beneficial or not. In other words, um, as you gather more information, you're able to better appreciate whether a set of actions, thoughts or feelings are going to be better serving to you, to others, to the planet or less serving to you, others and the planet. And really that's what learning more about the pros and the cons is all about. It's really about gaining a much richer and deeper understanding of what um, um, the, the, the benefits or what the challenges are about adopting um, a choice of behaviours so that it isn't just about being presented with um, a variety of choices, it's about understanding what the implication of being aligned with a certain choice is in terms of whether it's going to be something that brings you peace, um, whether it's something that's going to bring you a greater sense of love and intimacy, um, a sense of joy and fulfillment, or if it's something that's going to be resulting in suffering or um, anxiety or burnout or fear. <clears throat> and so um, this really is a very, very important part of the process because if you can't gather the information around choices, then you're not in a position to remember to be um, um, that you have a choice to act more lovingly um, over doing what you've always done. And of course what we know is that if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. 
So in this particular situation, what we're doing is getting real clear um, about the fact that there is a viable alternative. And, and of course, um, at this particular point, uh, we're not getting caught up in the detail of how to integrate that into our life because that literally becomes um, the next part of the process. That's the strategies that I would have to adopt to have this become part of my experience. We're not, we're not focusing on this at the moment. All that we're looking at here is what would be alternatives that would give me a quality of life that um, represents the sorts of values that are important to me, the sorts of things that I really desire in terms of health and well-being, in terms of clarity of thought and, and um, inner peace, etc. Now, um, the, 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 the key then in terms of what you're doing when you're going through this part of the process isn't only just about exploring um, what the pros and the cons are, but it's also, there's a step before that, and that is where am I going to get the information? Um, where am I going to find out more about these things? And so uh, a key part of, of being able to identify the pros and cons is also having clarity about, well, where am I going to go to find out more about this subject? And of course, we live in an age where we do have Google, and I have to say that you know, for so much of what the internet presents that um, potentially can be harmful, what we do have is the ability to go in search of new knowledge and understanding. And of course, um, um, I was raised in a household where seeking knowledge through books was highly prized and highly encouraged. And this is also an additional resource um, where um, books are available readily online these days and some of us like to read The Real McCoy and pick up a book and have it in our hands. But um, this means that if you've established it as a value that we talked about in our last um, step, in the first step, then you're going to spend your time and resources. So you're now going to spend time and money on researching pros and cons, which means that when you come home in the evening and you sit down, instead of sitting down to watch the TV, what you might do is get out a book and, and read a book that you've acquired that's along the lines of wanting to better understand more about the pros and cons of the issue that you're dealing with. You might go on to Google and do some research or there might be meetings or talks that you might be um, going to and listening to in order to gather more knowledge and understanding. You might even go and do a, um, a short course in education so that you have a better appreciation. But what I can tell you is that if you're going to be learning more about the pros and the cons, then that's about using your resources of time and money in order to channel it into being able to um, um, be clearer about what the pros and cons are of the thing that it is that you're wanting to focus on. So um, you need to identify where you can resource the knowledge and the understanding. Um, you also um, need to spend time giving consideration to what the benefits are and how that could look in your life, beginning to sort of play with the notion, well, this is how it's been with the choices that I've been making. Well, what would it look like if I was making different choices and beginning to play with this notion of, of how my life experience would be different if I, was making, if I was making choices that were more serving, that were, more, that were kinder, that were more self-loving? And of course, we um, in Western mindfulness see that as not only being a question that's about what's beneficial for me, it's also looking at those other two elements that are sort of the three legs of the ultimate balanced chair and that is, how is this kinder to other people and how is this kinder uh, to, the, to the planet and to the environment? Because all of those three have to be taken into account and have to be in balance in terms of sustainability around consciousness and awareness and, and, and mindfulness. Okay, so um, next um, blog we're going to be looking at how you integrate it into the, your life and that's about strategizing it and, and what it's going to take to be able to implement changes um, given that we've now um, determined that this is something that I value. These are the options that I have in terms of the choices that I have 
um, having made a choice how do I now move ahead and have that become something that, that I really want to have uh, integrated into my life experience. Hope you're finding these of interest and, and supportive in moving forward in making sustainable change and, and please just remember that this is all sustainable change that we're focusing on. If you want to know more um, about EAP and what we're about, please go to our website. Um, eapmentor.com and um, go to at eapmentor on Facebook. We have a fabulous Facebook um, page where there's stuff being posted every day just about on um, different aspects of awareness and mindfulness and that's all free. Um, if you go to our website you can go and have a look at um, our um, go into our blogs and there's a great um, alphabetical listing of blogs that we've posted over the last six years five years um, and and they're all free and they're informative and once again they may be tools that will help you um, in terms of getting more information about pros and cons anyway thank you for listening and i'll speak to you again soon bye